Well, we're here today because at the Museum of Science and Industry here in Manchester, we're launching the new Revolution Manchester Gallery, a fantastic development which is part of the £9 million pounds we've invested in the Great Western Warehouse. Behind me, you have this fantastic sculpture. It's very spectacular, but you also have the opportunity to become part of Manchester's history because with one of these little cards, you can register on this forest of registration posts behind me, take a picture, and suddenly that appears on that sculpture. But it's not just about you, it's about the many innovators and scientists of Manchester who really shaped the world. It is very impressive. I learned something. Uh, I thought I would know everything because I know that the, the computers here, maybe I, I, I know about the history of aerospace in this region, but I didn't know that the world's first fusion reactor was built here. So the, I think it's an impressive exhibit because even if you're a scientist from Manchester, a working scientist now, I think you might find something that you don't know in there. We have everything from aviation through to computing, energy, cottonopolis and precision engineering. We've actually ripped apart and put back together again 70% of the building, and that includes fantastic conference facilities that is on the top floor, exhibition space on the floor above us, which is the experiment gallery, and then new restaurants uh, and uh, cafe and shop. The reason for the conferencing is we want to look at the way we can become more commercially sustainable. Because we are funded by DCMS, the Department for Culture, Media and Sport, which is wonderful, and their funding goes to financial year 2014-15. Uh, but after that, there's a bit of an uncertain period, and uh, we're talking with the government about how we address that issue. And we're also, as I've already mentioned, really redeveloping the way our commercial approach uh, is going to deliver the funds that we need. And that includes working with big businesses in the northwest and the country in its entirety. Museums like Mosey are vitally important. I was going to say my opinion, but I'm, not, I'm just going to say they are vitally important in inspiring kids, young people, to go into science and engineering. I, mean, I visited here as a kid and it was one of the reasons that I became a scientist. Because you can have that innate interest in science. I think virtually every child does. But you need it reinforcing. You need to come somewhere that's interesting. You need to be able to see these things close up, you know, to see these machines on which the modern world was based. It's key that that education comes across in a way that's accessible and really stimulates people into learning. It'd be idiotic in places like this uh, didn't continue to be funded, but new places, like, like new galleries like Revolution, were funded in the future. Why would you cut away the foundation of Britain's industrial future?